Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, May 1st, 2022. This puzzle has a title, it's called Blank Expressions. It also comes with a note. The note reads, After you've finished solving, look for an appropriate bonus phrase. Alright, let's get started. One across. You say it when you get it? It seems like that should be aha, right? Let's try and build off of that. Pioneer in Dadaism? Um, I wonder if that's Hans Arp? Is that right? That's amusing, an equivalent phrase. Hmm, is it just ha? Huh? Like that? Rose of Guns N' Roses, that's definitely Axl Rose. Let's see what these longer acrosses are. Film critic with a cameo in 1978's Superman? Hmm, Rax? I wonder if this is gonna be he instead, cause that would give us Rex. I'm not sure what this person's last name is though. Stuffed up in a way. I guess that could be Flemmy? Your nose is stuffed up? Ties another knot. Well, it's gonna start with re, probably. Hmm, I don't know what the end is gonna be. Passport for one. Hmm, it's not a photo ID? That wouldn't fit, I don't think. Vegan protein source made from fermented soybeans. I'm very familiar with this one. That is tempeh. Yeah, I love tempeh. Big name in ice cream? That should be ED. Cell connection initials. I know that's LTE. I have no idea what it stands for. Is this going to be Rex Reed? I don't know if I've heard of this person. Hmm, passport for one. Leg? Maybe it's legal something. Hmm, that sounds pretty good. I don't know what the end is going to be. 2020 number one hit for Cardi B and Megan Three Stallion. I have no idea. Hmm. Resident of the US's second largest city. Well, the first largest is New York City. And then I think it goes Los Angeles, right? I wonder if it's going to be an Angelino. Yeah, is that how you spell it? It comes off the top of one's head. Hmm. Off the top of one's head. Are they talking literally here somehow? I wonder. Cool beans, an equivalent phrase. It seems like that should be neato. Those are both kind of old fashioned phrases at this point. Verbose. Hmm. It's not like Gabby, right? That doesn't sound quite right. Verbose. Let's see what this is here. Part of FWIW for what it's worth. I guess it has to be it's. Clothing store sign. Clothing store sign. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Yogurt based Indian drink. That should be a lassi, right? Like a mango lassi? Hmm, it comes off the top of one's head. What in the world is going on here? Verbose. Is it gassy? Does that make sense? Like you're a gas bag or a windbag? I don't know about that. This would be a Y. Clothing store sign. Hmm. I don't know. What's this long one here? Fan of the album Aox Moxoa, say? <laughs> um, I have no idea. I've never seen this word before. I wonder if it's going to end in head. It can't be a dead head. Um, or could it? The title of this puzzle is Blank Expressions. Could it be dead and then a blank space and then head? And then this could be legal ID, right? If there was a space in it? That's interesting. Why would these phrases have a blank space inserted into them? Maybe this could be an ad lib. That would be off the top of your head. 
Not literally. This would be an A. Hmm. Is it gassy? That sounds so weird. B-O-Y? Maybe it's boys. Hmm. This would be a D. Uh-oh. Maybe it's re-weds. Ties another knot figuratively. Oh my god, that's so clever. Oh, and this is WAP. I have heard of this song. Yeah, it stands for something, but it's not safe for crosswords. Okay, so this is gonna be dead head. What's gonna go in here? I wonder if the bonus phrase is gonna be hidden in these blank squares somehow. Hmm, that's something to keep in mind. And we have to be careful that some of these theme answers will seem too short. But yeah, they're gonna have a blank space in them. The eighth of eight? Um, what is this talking about? The eighth of eight? Hmm, maybe they're referring to something specific that has eight things in it? I don't know. Professional saver. And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not gonna be about like a banker or something? Professional saver. Shouldn't this be a goalie? Yeah, because you make saves, you prevent goals. That's really clever. Long time cooking show hosted by Alton Brown. Oh man, I know I've heard of Alton Brown. I'm just not into like cooking shows at all. I don't really know what this is gonna be. Um, I guess our only way to keep building into this section would be to go through the center here. I'm not going to know the end of it either. Yeah, let's try and get this entry here. Leave it to beavers. <laughs> beavers are good at building dams. Yeah, you could leave a dam to beavers. Sit in stir. What are they talking about here? Sit in stir. Hmm. Well, a stir can be like an ado or a brouhaha. Set in a brouhaha? I don't know about that. Pablo Neruda wrote one to a large tuna in the market. Um, I have no idea, but I imagine it's going to be an ode. Ode. That could be do. Hmm. Set in stir. That's such a weird clue. Wilson of film. That could be Owen Wilson. Woolly Mam instead of a woolly mammoth. Is this going to be a U? That's a pretty cute clue, too. Hmm. Maybe they're talking about the planets here. Since Pluto is not a planet anymore, I guess the eighth of eight planets would be Neptune. Very tricky. Uh, I guess this is due time. Sit in stir. I don't really recognize that meaning of stir. Is that another word for a prison? Sit in stir? That's interesting. The blue marble. Okay, that should be planet Earth. That's kind of fun that we have Neptune crossing the planet Earth here. Author Gaiman? That's Neil Gaiman. I think it's an I, is that right? I'm not actually sure. All right, let's see if we have any luck building off of planet Earth here. I'm not super optimistic because these are such common letters, but let's see if we can get lucky. Heart shaped as leaves. Hmm. I wonder, have we seen this word before? It feels vaguely familiar. Entree with boiling broth. Um, it's not a hot pot unless we have a space here. I bet we do actually. Let's try hot pot. Yeah, so what does that give us on the across here? Hmm, well, I'm still not going to know this show. Let's see if we can build off of Hot Pot. Dope? Hmm, I guess this could be talking about marijuana. It could be talking about something good, too, like that's dope. What's this last down? Dash figure. Hmm, could that be mileage? Like on a car? Dress up. I think this could be tog up. I feel like I've seen that before. It seems very uncommon, but I do think I have seen that phrase. Like some bowls. What kind of bowls? Are we talking about the stock market? 
Maybe this could be papal. There's such a thing as a papal bull, right? I'm not even sure what that means. I know I've heard of it before. Is it like a speech from the Pope? I don't even know. Number one NBA draft pick in 1992. Would that be Shaquille O'Neal? Hmm. We have Neal and O'Neal. Is that kosher? I don't know. Dope. Hmm. This looks a little weird. I wonder if this is not O'Neal. Safe bets. Hmm. Northern New Jersey town. I think that should be Fort Lee. That's on the other side of the George Washington Bridge. Tennis division. Could that be a net? That's like what you're using to make the division? Hmm. That gives us two ends. I guess it could be a set too. That would be like a division within the game. Hmm. I feel like that's more plausible just because I don't like the two ends. Safe bets. Maybe this is shoe ins. Ooh, that was tricky. 1993 Salt and Pepper hit. I do know this one. This is Shoop. We've had some pretty good luck on musical clues today so far. Oh, maybe this is a schmo, like a person that's a dope. Wow, that was tricky. Um, <laughs> I still have no idea. Maybe this is O'Neal with an A? Oh yeah, Shaquille O'Neal is with an A. That makes this a lot better. Okay, so maybe this is gonna be Good Eats. And this is SFO, Bay Area Airport Code. Yeah, okay. This is Cordate. Oh my god, I don't know if I've seen that word before. And then maybe we can build off of this S here. Fad accessory of the 1980s. Accessory, hmm. I was around in the 1980s. I wonder if I'm gonna know this. Plus, that could be also blank magnon. That could be crow magnon, our prehistoric ancestors. I have a feeling our next blank space is probably gonna be here. Let's take a look at this. Flings without strings. I guess this is talking about romantic flings, maybe? Hmm. Interesting. It's not hookups. I don't know. Good people to ask for directions. Good people. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one either. Feeling bad in a way. This is talking about a specific way of feeling bad. Oh man, we're going to need more help with this one. Okay, dangerous part of a tour. Are they talking about a specific kind of tour? Maybe a military tour. Hmm, let's see if we can have any luck starting fresh up here. Sorta, that could be ish. Journalist blank B. Wells, that's Ida B. Wells. Outback EG. Um, I mean, Outback is a restaurant. I wonder if that's what they're talking about. I don't know. Stereotypical football coach. Hmm, there's probably a space here. I would want this to be like PE teacher, but I don't think that's it. Levitating Singer 2020. Hmm, this is a musical clue I definitely don't know. Literally father of many. Is that Abraham? Kind of feels like a biblical reference to me. Org with grants? Hmm. I don't know. Is it like the NIH, the National Institute of Health? I guess it could be. Writing tip. That could be a nib, a literal writing tip, like the nib of a pen. It's got hops for short. That could be an IPA, an India Pale Ale. Superhero comic sound. I think that should be BAM. It's looking like this is going to be Dua Lipa, right? I do recognize that as a singer. I don't know if I've heard this song. Oh, Outback. Doesn't Subaru make a car called the Outback? Yeah. Nice, okay, that was pretty tricky. They may be classified. Is this classified ads? Those are kind of old-fashioned at this point. Victor Blank, roll in Casablanca. I've actually never seen Casablanca. Hmm. 
Is this going to be a hard ass? <laughs> I guess football coaches are hard asses, yeah. So our blank space is actually here. Hmm. Maybe it's going to start with war. War time? This would be a W? Hmm. SW. I don't know. So there's no space in this answer. It seems like this should be casual something. Um, is it casual sex? Is this an X? Ramps up or down. And this is wordplay. Hmm. So it's not about something getting more intense or less intense. I wonder if it could just be exits. Yeah, like exits out of a building or into a building. Nice. Okay, so maybe it is casual sex. August blank county. Tracy let's play. I think this is Osage County. I know I've heard that before. Grok could be get. South blank? Hmm. I don't know about this one. Ditto. An equivalent phrase. I would want this to be so do I. That definitely doesn't fit though. Hmm. Interesting. What is going on here? This is probably war. Maybe it's a war zone. That would be dangerous, yeah. And this is Laszlo, maybe? Is this so as I? So as I. Hmm. No, Sight of Hercules' first labor should be Nemea because he slew the Nemean lion. So maybe this is so am I. There we go. Okay, we got it. We got our next blank square. Okay. Um, maybe this is going to be a swatch? That was a watch brand, right? Feeling bad in a way? Could that be ashamed? Good people to ask for directions. Okay, that's going to be locals. Medical care option? Maybe that's an HMO. Has online. And this is wordplay, so... It's not about something that is on the internet, I guess. Has online. Hmm. I mean, it looks like it's going to be LOL. I don't know about that. First name among billionaires. I guess that's Elon. Why is it LOL? Is it like has as in tricking someone? That doesn't really make sense to me. Has online. Hmm. That's a little strange. I don't get that one. Maybe this is South Seas. All tucked in could be snug. Basket weaving materials. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Lump sum. And this is more wordplay. So it's not about a lump sum of money. Lump. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're going for here. The Barber of Seville. Hmm. This is like an opera or something, right? Is that right? I'm not even sure. Hmm. Is this a character name? I don't know. Parts of many skyscrapers? Hmm. It's not going to be spires? I'm not sure what they're going for here. Loud and clear as a call to action. I wonder if this is going to be clarion? Yeah, a clarion call is something you hear pretty often. Top dog for short. Top dog? Is that going to be a CEO? I guess so. Blank with Mark Marin, popular podcast. Hmm, I know I've heard of this. I'm kind of blanking on what this first word is. Grab the reins. Is that going to be took? I wonder if we have a blank square here. This could be took over. This seems like a prime candidate for a blank square. It's right in the center. Unlikely feature for competitive swimmers. Um, unlikely feature. Hmm. Is it like being afraid of water? I have no idea. Bit of cosmic justice. That could be bad karma. What's this one? Some trattoria offerings. A Trattoria is an Italian restaurant. Hmm. It's looking like this might be I-bars. 
Yeah, I guess they would be built with eye bars. Um, hmm. I wonder if this is ricottas. I guess that could be chats over Twitter for short. That could be DMs. So it's not ricotta. Maybe it's risottos. Yeah, that's better. That's an actual like dish you would have. Ricotta would just be part of it. Two syllable cheer. That's going to be Olay. Christine of the Blacklist. Oh, um, isn't it Christine Lottie? I feel like I've seen that name before. Let's see if that's right. Contest? That could be Vi. What was this again? Arm. Why does it start with arm? Hmm. Dios blank? That could be Dios mio. Made bubbly. That should be aerated, right? Arm hair? Oh, because they would shave it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Blank all fitter? Holiday? I think the Arabic word for holiday is Eid, isn't it? Let's see if that's right. Wedding notice word. Yeah, that could be nay. That's French for born. That's what you put in front of your maiden name. Rage. That could be ire. Hmm. Maybe this is WTF. That would make a lot of sense. Diverse ecosystem. Maybe it could be a reef. Those are pretty diverse, right? Eccentric. Hmm. It's not weird. Do we have another blank space? No, it's always between two words. It never splits one word in half. Okay, so it's not going to be weird. Slugger with 609 homers. I wonder if that's Sammy Sosa. Demean? It's not debase. Could it be a base? Or maybe a bash? Could it be a bash? Eccentric. Hmm. It is sort of looking like it might be weird. I'm going to try a base. Maybe it's weirdo. That's not right, though, because that's a noun. And this is an adjective. Hmm. Home of Gulf State Park. Gulf State. I wonder if it's going to be somewhere on the Gulf of Mexico. Could it be Alabama? That would fit. That's a pretty good guess, I think. Behind the counter helper. Is that going to be a barista? Ooh. That doesn't fit. Hmm. Hawaiian home parts. Oh man, this is tricky. This is going to be lanai's. Yeah, that's kind of like a covered porch that's on some Hawaiian homes. It's also the name of one of the islands in Hawaii. Hmm. Well, we do have the beginning of weird. Singer Grande to fans. That could be Ari. Ariana Grande. It's not barista, really? Maybe it's a barkeep. Oh, man. Maybe our blank square is right here. Barkeep. Is it keep? Hmm. Wait a minute. That can't be. It can't just be a B here. Hmm. I don't think so. Supreme Court appointee before Thurgood Marshall. Uh-oh. I don't know if I'm going to know this one. That was a while ago. Pinpoints. And this is wordplay, so it's not about finding the location of something. Is it just a point on a pin? Hmm. Maybe it's maps? It's points where you would find pins? Pin points? Yeah, that's kind of tricky. Okay. Flexible spade, say? That could be an ace, maybe. In blackjack, they can be 1 or 11. Hmm. Is it bar back? That would still leave us with an empty square here. It just seems weird to me that that would be the case. Every other time we had a blank square, there was a full word on either side of it. Hmm. Licorice flavored quaff. Uh... Hmm. It looks like it might be a niece. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Some coding statements. Those could be ifs. 
Does that F help here? Not really. The Trojan Priestess Cassandra E.G. I guess she could be an example of a seer. Cutesy ending with most. Hostess with the mostest. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to be Al something. Like someone's name. And then our blank square would be here. United. Could that be as one? Hmm. Blank live and breathe as I live and breathe. A cry of surprise. Is it weirdo? Eccentric. Oh, eccentric can be a noun. It doesn't have to just be an adjective. You can call someone an eccentric. Yeah. Okay, so it is weirdo. Fortis? Is it Al Fortis? Hmm. Interesting. This could be an S. Backtracks. And it's more wordplay. Backtracks. So it's not going back over the path that you already made. Hmm. Backtracks. It's not besides? Besides. Oh my god, it is. It's B-sides. It's backtracks on a record. Oh my god, that was so hard. And B is an entire word here, I guess. Yeah. Oh my god, that was so, so tricky. Maybe it is bar back. Uh, maybe this is Abe Fortis? We're not looking for the blank square here anymore. Um... Hmm. Anis blank? I don't know how this is going to end. In which belts are worn? Well, I would want this to be karate. Uh, Anis P? It should be Anis T, shouldn't it? Mats? Pinpoints? Oh, they're talking about wrestling. Oh man, that is so tricky. You would pin someone on the mat. That was a tough one to see. Okay, let's see if we can build off karate here. Text file in a software package. That has to be README, right? Roger Blank, first film critic to win a Pulitzer for criticism. That has to be Roger Ebert. Blood typing EG. Blood typing. Hmm. I don't know. Run in Blank, NCAA basketball team. Is it running Utes? I have no idea. Okay, in and of itself. Shouldn't that be per se? Yeah, the Latin per se. So we came across our next blank square. That's helpful. Like werewolves. That could be lupine, right? That's an adjective that means wolf-like. J with jokes. That has to be J Leno. We have solar here. Spacecraft's reflective attachment. Hmm. It's not a solar shield? Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Blood typing. Maybe that's an example of lab work. Yeah. Okay, so we have a blank square here. Worries. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to be Nas on? No, that's too short. What is this going to be? Worries. Hmm. It probably is going to end in on. Quinceanera feature. So this is going to be something at a party, right? A feature. Hmm. I don't know. Wait a minute. This is looking wrong. MR. I think that means that work has to be incorrect here. NYC mayor after de Blasio. That's Mayor Adams. Precept. Hmm. Is that a tenant? I think it could be. PDQ in the OR. <laughs> Pretty damn quick. That has to be stat, right? Way off the mark. Way off the mark. It's not rude. Hmm. Flare. That could be Elan. You could do something with flare with Elan. Huh. This is going to be about the word quinceanera, literally. There's a tilde above the N. Very tricky. Hmm. Maybe this is wide? Yeah, like a pitch could be wide or something. 
worries. Maybe it's sweats. That should be sweats it, right? Yeah. Shades could be tints. Imbibe old style. So this will be a word for drinking. Hmm. 2013 Bong Joon Ho thriller. Hmm. Bong Joon Ho. S N. Uh, hmm. I don't know if I know that one. Aliens line of communication. And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not going to be about some kind of alien communicator technology. It starts with E.T. Is this going to be E.T. phone home? <laughs> that is so funny. It's a line. It's a line from a movie, yeah. Hmm. I want this to be like tipple. That's not going to fit, though. John Abroad. Uh, is this like the name John or are they talking about a toilet? Huh? An equivalent phrase? Is this going to be what? <laughs> I guess so. Inundate as with work. I want this to be pile on. Is that right? Maybe this is Sean. Is that another form of John? I think it is. Imbibe. What the heck is this? Tope? Tip? Is it tip? It looks like this is going to start with snow. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, isn't that snow piercer? Maybe it's not pile on. Yeah, it's tope? Really? Weird. I've never heard that word before. That's a new one. Snow piercer. Excellent. I've seen that one. Inundate. Maybe it's heap on instead of pile on? Same idea. Ideal beta tester. Hmm. E-N-H and O-E. Oh boy. Boots. Should this be about kicking someone out? Is it not heap on either? Calendar month. I guess it could be April, although I'm not sure about this A. Runner Bolt. Okay, that's Usain Bolt our sprinter with the aptronym. This is not going to be April, so it's not heap on. Um, I don't think it's going to be January. I guess it could be March, maybe? Like some parking. Hmm, it's not free parking. P. Is this row in the Greek alphabet? I think it might be. Scrooge McDuck for one. For one. Is it an icon? Is that right? I don't know if that's a great answer. Youngins. That could be tots. Oh yeah, Scrooge McDuck is a Scot. That's right, he's Scottish. Cuts off the flow of... Hmm. I think this should be stems, like stems the bleeding. Captain's log entry, maybe. <laughs> is this going to be Stardate? Like a captain's log in Star Trek? I love that. That's such a fun one. Shining brightly. Is it like a glare? A flare? Hmm. I don't know which one that's going to be. Algebra 1 calculation. Algebra 1. SL? Hmm. Former Jordanian queen. That could be Queen Noor. I have heard of her. Is this a G or an F? Gives a boost informally. Hmm. I'm not sure. Attract while exploiting someone's weakness. Ooh. Is this like a con of some kind? I don't know. Last word of the New Testament. <laughs> um, I don't know this, but is it amen? That would make a lot of sense. All blank? Is it all that? I don't know. Chapters in history. I think that should be eras. Hear out say. Hmm. You're hearing what someone has to say? Speedy travel option. It seems like that should be a cella. The Amtrak train. Cares for could be tens. What is this? Maybe it's all told. Hear out. Hmm. Maybe this is going to be humor. I'll humor them. I'll hear them out. 
Man, okay. Formal accessory. Could that be a top hat? What is this again? Maybe it's a slope. Oh, man. Attract while exploiting someone's weakness. Maybe that's seduce. Ooh, tricky. Hmm. G or F. Neither of those seem right. Shining brightly. Hmm. Weird. I don't know what should go here. Hair splitter. Hair splitter? Maybe that could be a pedant. Yeah, if you're pedantic, you're always splitting hairs, figuratively. Does the same as. Maybe that could be apes. You're doing an impression of someone, kind of. So maybe this is a solar sail. Yeah. Having less vermouth say. Could that be drier? That would be in a cocktail. No longer funny. Maybe that's old. That's getting very old. Firm. Hmm. There's a lot of meanings of firm. French 101 verb. Oh boy. Um, is it going to be etre? Like to be? Marijuana compound for short. That should be TLC. Softened expletive on Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> I love this. This is frack. It's kind of fun that we have frack and stardate in the same corner here. It's kind of sci-fi heavy. Not stop talking about. Is it lay it on? Is that right? Lay it on? Hmm. The Barber of Seville. Is that Figaro? I think I have probably heard someone singing Figaro, probably in a Looney Tunes cartoon. Hmm. I don't know about this. I'm not sure about lay it on. Firm. That could be rock solid. Yeah, this seems weird. Air or ear ender in tech. Shouldn't that be ear pod? Ear pod? Yeah, let's take this out. Pod. I guess it's pretty likely that this might be a theme answer. One of these squares is probably blank here. Yeah. Hmm. Main connection? And this is more wordplay, so it's not about the primary connection to something. I wonder if it's going to be about a connection to a sewer main, right? It could be like a drain or something. Something line. Hmm. I like the end being line. Let's see if that's right. Late actor Eisenberg. Hmm. I don't know that one. Ominous could be dire, maybe. Some antique furniture. Hmm. Like 100 vis-a-vis -vis 99, say? Um, is it just like one more? 100 vis-a-vis -vis 99. Hmm. I don't know. Mustang's school. Oh, no. Um, maybe it's U? It could end in a U. It's a school. It could be SU, maybe. Hmm. That's just kind of a guess, though. What is this again? Gives a boost. That could be goosed, right? You goosed the numbers? Yeah, you kind of gave them a boost. A glare. Okay, so we got a D. Hmm. This is probably an E. Uh, hmm. Is this Ned? Hmm. I don't know. It looks like this is probably our blank square here. Does that help? Main connection. Something line. Hmm. And this is one word here. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I put in TLC. It's THC. <laughs> yeah, TLC is the band or the learning channel. Okay. This should be harp on. There we go. Um, hmm, I think I should take these letters out. Those were just guesses. Maybe this is rounded, like 100 vis-a-vis -vis 99. Yeah, you rounded 99 up to 100. Oh, that's so tricky. It was Ned. Harp on, um, well, we got an R here. I don't know how much that's going to help. 
Maybe it's a lump of sugar. Oh my god, that's so tricky. Lump of sugar. Osiers. Yeah, I know we've seen this word before. It's tricky. It just doesn't stick in my brain. Osiers. Oh man. Okay, so maybe this is a gas line. It connects to the main gas line. Wow. Um, uh-oh. Maybe this should be armoires. And it's not an adjective. Maybe this is gooses. Yeah, I don't know why we put this in past tense. It's present tense. Okay, so this should be armoires. This is SMU. I have no idea. I don't think I've ever heard of this before. All right, let's see if we can finish off this little section here. Maybe this is an end user, an ideal beta tester. Boots. That could be ousts, right? You're booting someone out of something. Inundate. Okay, so this is dump on. I guess this is street parking. And this was March after all. All right, so I think this is it. I think we leave these squares blank. Yeah, let's throw that R in there and see if that'll do it for us. Uh-oh, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, let me sit here and think about this for a little while. I wonder if we're going to have to put something into these blank squares. Okay, after looking at this puzzle for a minute, it looks like what might be happening is, in addition to our original phrases, it looks like there's going to be two more phrases that work when you put a different letter in here. I just noticed it with these two here in the center. Took over. You could put a C in here and that would change it to took cover, right? And arm hair would be arm chair. Same with this one. Hot pot could be a hot spot and good eats could be good seats. Yeah, so this must be where our bonus phrase comes in. So let's put in an S, a C. Actually, I might have trouble remembering which squares were blank. I wonder if we can use the pencil tool to kind of mark our blank squares here. Let's try that. Let's put them in pencil, and then maybe we can read our bonus phrase once we get them all filled in. Okay, so what would work here? Hmm, maybe it's dead ahead. This could be legal aid. Okay, so we have an A here. Um, could this be a warm zone and a hard mass? No, it should be hard pass and warp zone. <laughs> there we go. Is that the kind of warp zone you'd go through on the Starship Enterprise? I guess it sounds more like a Mario Brothers warp zone. Okay, so we have S-A-P-C. Hmm... Maybe this is going to be an E, bareback, and besides, yeah, okay. And then, what is this one going to be? It's starting to look like it should be harpoon, right? Maybe it could be gasoline. Oh my god, that's tricky to see. S-P-A-C-E-O. Okay, so we have space. Yeah, maybe it's like space out. Oh my god, that would be funny. Is this going to be a U? Sweatsuit and peruse. Yeah, there we go. And then this should be top that, just like in Teen Witch. And that would give us a start date. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. So we have a little bonus phrase. That's pretty fun. That's a really cool little extra element to this theme. There's a little bit more going on than first meets the eye. Very cool. All right, let's throw that T in there and see if that'll do it for us. Oh, shucks. It looks like we have a square wrong. All right, let me see if I can track it down. Ooh, oh man, okay. I had to take a little break after that solve to cool down a little bit. I was actually a little upset about our theme squares today. Let's take a look at this puzzle here. Okay, so these were the letters we were trying to put into the grid, right? Space out. 
Apparently, the puzzle won't accept that as a correct answer. Yeah, we had to put X's into the grid in order for our puzzle to count as completed, which is really strange because after the solve, I started to talk to some of my crosswording friends and they were able to complete it by just leaving the squares blank, which is what we tried to do. They were solving on an Android app though, and I always solve on the web. So there's actually a different solving experience depending on which platform you're using. Yeah, I thought it was so frustrating that all of the things we tried to fill out these blank squares weren't accepted. I think they definitely should have accepted space out. They should have accepted the squares being blank, which they did on the app versions, but not on the web version. Yeah, you shouldn't have to figure out that you need to put an X in a blank square in order for it to be accepted. Yeah, that's just really bad technical execution. Um, but that doesn't really have anything to do with this puzzle. That's just kind of like the tech behind it. I actually think this theme is really cool. Um, and it's a shame that the technical aspects kind of detracted from it. Um, oh man, I just left the puzzle up and it just kept ticking up. I think we finally finished at around two hours. It was about an hour to finish the puzzle and then another hour of trying to figure out what to put in to the squares here. I was also running the alphabet on a lot of letters in the grid that I wasn't sure of, so that took a bunch of extra time. Yeah, it's such a shame, but let's go back to the theme. Um, it's really cool that they found examples of this mechanic where there's two phrases that cross, and then when you take the crossing letter out, it leaves two other phrases. Yeah, with a space in between them. It's very interesting. And not only that, they were able to arrange them in such a way as to spell out this bonus phrase, space out. That is really, really cool. There was a lot of fun wordplay on the puzzle today too. This one was great. Pinpoints for mats, that's very funny. Tilda is good, that's a nice misdirection. And actually, I finally figured out what LOL was. It's not has online, it's has online, as in the plural of ha, the plural of a laugh is LOL. Oh my goodness, that one was so tricky. And we even got gooses on today's puzzle. That at least is a nice consolation prize. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed filling in those blank expressions with me technical issues notwithstanding. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.